10 people injured, two critically during a shooting in Lakeland, and now police are trying to track down four shooters. And Fox 35's Kaylee Tracy spoke to one family who had a close call. Get in the house. Get in the house. Okay, I'll call, I'll call for help. That mother that you heard yell for her kids to get inside says that the school bus had just dropped them off around 3.40 this afternoon here behind me, and they were walking to a van to bring them to an after-school program over here, but usually that van, she says, is where those evidence markers were. It didn't park there today, and she says it's a miracle. No child was shot. I was hoping it was firecrackers, but when I didn't see any smoke and then you hear everybody, I've been hit, I've been hit, it was kind of just so surreal and scary, you know? You're, everybody's kids just got off the bus. Kids were still walking home right here. So it's a blessing nobody's kids got hurt. Lakeland Police Chief Sam Taylor says police are looking for this dark blue four-door Nissan with dark tinted windows and temporary paper tags. He says this was a targeted shooting and that the car slowed down but never stopped. Four men, some wearing masks, he says, rolled down their windows and shot 10 other men between 20 and 35 years old on both sides of the street. Two of the 10 victims are in critical condition, both in surgery tonight. The other eight have non-life-threatening injuries. Chief Taylor says officers found a felony amount of marijuana at the scene that he says indicates there was probably some type of drug sales going on, but did say right now he can't say for sure if all 10 victims were targeted or if some may have just been caught in the crossfire. Regardless, Taylor says it's shocking, jarring, and horrific that this happened. This is something that doesn't happen in Lakeland. I've been here 34 years and I can tell you I have never worked an event where this many people have been shot at one time, ever. Um, it, it actually um, saddens me to some extent that, uh, you know, we, we consider ourselves to be a small town, uh, some you know, situated between Tampa and Orlando. And when stuff like this happens, you know, it, it just kind of hits home with me a little bit that, uh, you know, maybe we're not a small town anymore. And it, it actually is pretty sad. Again, Chief Taylor says they're looking for this dark blue four-door Nissan with dark tinted windows and temporary paper tags. He says that car sped away going northbound on Iowa Avenue, then turned east on Memorial Boulevard. If you know anything, please call police. The chief says they will have more officers out here patrolling tonight in case there are any retaliatory incidents. And again, he says this was a targeted attack. If you have any information, again, please call police. Reporting in Lakeland, Kaylee Tracy, Fox 35 News.